Let's talk a bit about how to know if you're experiencing migraine or sinus headaches. Many times when people have a runny nose, watery eyes, and a headache, they assume they have a sinus headache. This is especially common during allergy season, when hay fever is at its peak. However, studies show that about 90% of self-diagnosed sinus headaches are actually migraine attacks. So, how do you know if you're experiencing a migraine attack or a sinus headache? Let's review the key symptoms of each and explain the main differences. Migraine is not just a bad headache. It's a disabling chronic neurological disease with a range of symptoms and possible approaches to treatment. Common migraine attack symptoms include moderate to severe head pain. Head pain that causes a throbbing, pounding or pulsating sensation. Head pain that gets worse with physical activity or movement. Nausea and or vomiting. Sensitivity to light, noise and or smells nasal congestion, and runny nose. The American Migraine Foundation estimates that over 40 million Americans live with migraine. However, many people do not get an accurate diagnosis or the treatment they need, so the actual number is likely much higher. A true sinus headache, called rhinosinusitis, is rare. The cause of a sinus headache is a viral or bacterial sinus infection characterized by thick, discolored nasal discharge. Sinus headache symptoms include stuffy nose, facial pain, pressure around the eyes and behind the cheekbones, weaker sense of smell or inability to smell, aching in the upper teeth, fever. With sinus headache, Facial pain and headache should resolve within seven days after viral symptoms improve or after successful treatment with antibiotics, if a bacterial sinus infection is present. If pain continues, then your doctor may reconsider the diagnosis of sinus headache and run additional tests to determine the cause of your symptoms. So, why is migraine often misdiagnosed as sinus headache? Research studies show that some common allergy and sinus headache symptoms do occur with migraine. For example, one study found that 45% of people with migraine reported having at least one symptom of either nasal congestion or watery eyes during an attack. Another study explored the frequent complaint of sinus headache. After evaluating nearly 3,000 people who did not have a previous migraine diagnosis, researchers found that 88% of the participants had migraine and not sinus headache. The American Migraine Study 2 showed that of the nearly 30,000 study participants, only about 50% who were eventually diagnosed with migraine knew they had migraine before the study. The most common misdiagnosis was sinus headache. The nerves that are activated during a migraine attack are the same nerves that supply the sinuses, eyes, ears, teeth, and jaw. This can also help explain why migraine attacks are felt in the head, face, eyes, ears, and sinuses, and why it is often confused for sinus headache. When the nerves that supply the sinuses are activated from migraine or allergies, it can cause congestion, a runny nose, and watery eyes. Because of this significant overlap in symptoms, it's important to get an evaluation from a healthcare provider. How do you figure out if you are having migraine symptoms or a sinus headache? Take stock of your symptoms beyond the nasal and sinus congestion and the facial pain and pressure. Does your headache pain make you unable to function normally at work, school, home, or social functions? Is your headache accompanied by nausea or sensitivity to light? An ID migraine questionnaire was developed by Dr. Richard Lipton of the Albert Einstein College of Medicine. This questionnaire consists of three questions to help you determine whether you have migraine or sinus headache. 1. In the past three months, how disabling are your headaches? Do they interfere with your ability to function? Are you missing work, school, or family activities? 2. Do you ever feel nausea when you have a headache? 3. Do you become sensitive to light while you have a headache? If you answer yes to two of the three questions, there is a 93% chance you have migraine. If you answer yes to all three, a migraine diagnosis is 98% likely. 
Those with headaches from sinus disease are less likely to answer yes to the questions. Now that we've clarified the differences between migraine and sinus headache, let's talk about next steps. If you think your sinus headaches could actually be migraine attacks, talk to your doctor or see a headache specialist. Your doctor may prescribe a migraine-specific medication to see if it helps reduce your head pain and other associated symptoms the next time you have a headache. If necessary, they might order lab work or a CT scan of your sinuses to rule out sinus disease or another sinus problem. Overall, if you're still not sure if you have migraine or sinus headache, it's best to reach out to a medical professional to help you find the right diagnosis and treatment plan.